I didn't know that was a thing. Right. Pull open this one and this one and stream. Stream is back up and running. Refresh because for some reason stream health needs to be refreshed. Um, and we're up to 2300 kilobytes a second when Topa stays that way. Uh, so. I could do duty roulettes. But I, I do those for leveling purposes and so on. I, I got a bunch of classes I plan on leveling. Uh, but for now, I think what we're going to do for the DLC... We're going to go for the tried and true method of Red Mage. And then, because of the way they, they give gear... I'm going to go for tanking gear. No. You know what? I should go for a physical. Then I can do physical and heal at the same time. That's... You know what? Let's just fucking play an Astrologer. I haven't played my astrologer like seriously in a long time, so we're we're gonna play through the DLC or not the DLC. We're gonna play through the expansion as a healer because if I unlock a new dungeon and I queue up for that dungeon, seconds it'll be seconds. double confirm. Yeah, the second tab is all of my healing abilities. And my sects. Let's go with Siren also. Oh yeah, that's right, we have self. We're now in the instance area of Mordona 3. Ah! Wow. Right. I'm gonna do that, sir, and that. Sir. I mean, I can generally fit everything I have on two bars. I think I might need to. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I hit 80, because I might need to actually expand into the third health bar. Or the abilities I have will just overwrite existing abilities. We'll figure it out. Alright, so what does this give me? White Oak Weapon Copper. Uh, required level 70, I level 385, weapon type determined by current job or class at time of opening cannot be opened in instant areas. Now I already have a 390 weapon for this, so I'm probably going to use that to... Get another class. Ooh, I might use that for fucking dancer. All right, good news. We have stroke block in our search for the beacon. Apparently, our colleagues are stumbling across a hidden path leading down into the hollows around the base of the circus tower. Oh, I haven't been there in forever. Also, I like the fact that I have an eye patch on my left eye, so that camera angle looks fucking weird. A uh, path I doubt we never found had the ironworks and the sun's not added the numbers to their party. Thanks to them. Keep your eyes are plenty down there, checking under rocks, peering in every nook and cranny. There's a lot of ground to cover. Okay, so that's interesting that they've changed the interface for talking. My thoughts exactly. I'm sure you'd say that no matter what my choice. So now we find the beacon, so now we can travel. Where it is the mysterious voice is coming from. Okay, so last we left off, just for a recap. Uh, mysterious voice. Has stolen all of my friend's souls. Uh, and the Empire's trying to kill us. The Empire's always trying to kill us, but still, figured we should also throw that in. Uh, find a way to wake them up before the Empire comes calling again, meaning we have no time to lose. Boat Northern Silver Tier waiting for fairy people in the site, so let's be on our way. Uh, 
Uh, you are now on the instance Rising Stone 2. Current instance can be confirmed at any time using the slash instance dice command. I don't think I have to worry about that. Oh. Although the thing is, is to, to reduce population of people, it's a case of if there's many, 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 many people in an area, they're like, hey, you're in, you're going to be in Limza, Limenza instance 4, and it's, as a result, you're not going to get like 100 people. You're probably going to get 25. So you can still get some populated areas, but you're not going to get a billion people, which is fantastic. It definitely helps with things. Helps with managing resources. I still don't know. Do I want to do this as a healer? Let me, uh, let me get my phone. Johnny said he was going to play a healer? Ow, what the fuck, shoulder? Ow. That was out of left field. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, I imagine he's not going to have much to say. He has until I get there to reply. Just because I think playing through it as a healer is going to significantly help me with, uh... Oh yeah, that's right, we can finally see what that gilded armor looks like. Uh, I believe that's just the gold armor, and I don't know how I get it. Like, I don't know what achievement I unlocked to obtain it, but I now have this. Yep, thought so. It's just the gold magitech armor. I don't like it. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. big on the weapon. Uh, not too big on the amount. So I have a 380. That's right. And then this is guaranteed to be a 385. The red mage is already at 390. My ninja... I don't know what to play. Fuck. I got dark knight, warrior, ninja, astrologer, red mage. I got one healer, two tanks, deep yet. You know, I think we need to bring on the shadows. That reminds me. Uh, something else I want to look into. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They got rid of blood weapon completely. They got rid of the uh, that weapon where it's like it increases your damage twenty percent, but also you don't regenerate mana. They just got rid of it. So now I just regenerate mana constantly. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Do 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 do. I want to keep that there. Keep that there. Keep unmend. Keep unleash. Yeah, fuck it. Eastern Shore of the Lake, so where to get there is by uh, boat. We're gonna do it as a fucking uh, Dark Knight, because Shadowbringer. I'm sure I'm not the only one to think that. That, and again, it should be quick, which I want. I just, I don't want to do it as a DPS. As much as I enjoy it, and this way I can go with physical gear and then mage gear, or healer gear. Should be able to. I'm gonna have to change up the way I get back here. I am an adorable bunny. Look how many people there are. Oh man, voice acting. Uh, two seconds, I forgot something. Gonna have to blue screen on y'all for just a moment. Uh, this is also going to lower the game audio as I'm joining a party, so if you want to turn it up now, do so now. Granted, you're going to need some sort of audio in which to bank whether or not you want to up your audio, so give me just a second to actually create the party. Alright, um... Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
This isn't gonna go well for me, but fuck it. Let's give it a shot. Eh, why not? I'm probably gonna get yelled at, which is fine. Should we get to it then? Pick up anything that seems the least bit device like, and we'll make ourselves a pile. Well, if it isn't the hero of the hour, maybe you'll change our look. We found Bugger all without you. Big sled! Small lore spoiler, uh, every Final Fantasy game, to my knowledge, has Biggs and Wedge. Aye, aye. Well, we could hardly say no to a call for aid from the Scions. Jesse call it the chief of some other business. So we'll be working twice as hard to make up for his not being here. Thrice as hard, even. <sighs> Thank you, both of you. I'm sure we'll find that beacon in no time. Hey, Loki. I was just adding people that were playing Final Fantasy. You enjoying uh, Shadowbringer? I'm not seeing. Do you reckon you could squeeze in there, Wedge? And get stuck halfway? Uh, what level are you? If you like. To Taru, no. We couldn't ask you to do that. Oh, I'll be fine. This receptionist is not a what level? To get her hands dirty. Oh, you have just started. Ah. Uh. That's fair. Have you played uh, other MMOs before? Sorry, I, I meant to say, the scholars haven't finished their preliminary assessment of the site yet, so we're not supposed to venture too far in. Hmm. What's that you got there? Now that looks promising. Uh, isn't that the ironworks symbol? Counterfeiters? No, that's fine. Now, now I have you. You are right. What's happening? <laughs> Stay with me. Focus on my voice. Do you care about the story at all? Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Wait, this must be it. Device. Oh, this is supposed to happen. Well, I just mean like, do you care about spoilers? Because I'm uh, I'm streaming right now. I'm in the new parts of the story that just released. All right. Because I often narrate what's going on for viewers, and some people don't like that. So. So. Do we have an echo or a flashback? Like, what's happening? You, whoa, what did I just read? You are now an instance Lakeland. Alright, we're someplace new. Okay, so apparently this place is called Lakeland. We it looks like something out of Kingdom Hearts 3. S Simple and clean's about to start flying. Okay, so, oh, that, that makes sense, because at the beginning of the game, when you first make your character, you are in a blue, glowy area that's very bright, and then there's a big fucking crystal, and it's Hildren, and now we're in an area surrounded by darkness. I don't mind. I mean, uh, how dare you? This is a good Christian Minecraft server. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this. You have a sword, dumbass. I'm not saying cut him in half. You're gonna actually use the sword. Yep. Anywho, so now we're just falling into the darkness, and we touch a crystal. That's fun. I know it's involved the silence from Doctor Who. Your time has not yet come.
Nothing quite terrifies you quite like waking up and thinking that you have a fucking one of the silence standing over you. See, but I know it's not the silence because I remember them. And anyone who knows Doctor Who knows that the silence are a weird alien being that literally when you when you look at them, you can see them, you can remember, you forget them. Me? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Doctor Who has a lot of crazy aliens like that. Weeping Angels for a while terrified everybody. <laughs> Dude, it's so hilarious. One eight seven. Yep, it'll it'll go to you as quickly as it can, and if it reaches you, it'll snap your neck. Just so hilarious. I had um I had my laptop back when I was in college and I I got a bunch of I, I took a screen I took uh I had multiple wallpapers on rotate and it would it would just cycle through them. But the it cycled every thirty seconds because that's as soon as you can do it. And every every wallpaper was a weeping angel moving slowly closer towards the camera. <laughs> And I've actually had people been like, is, is that angel closer to the camera? And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's always been there. So I always just play along like I have no clue what's going on. I'm like, no, dude, that's always been my wallpaper. And I'm like, you can't be fucking with me, man. I think it's closer to the camera. I was like, no, it's always been like that. <laughs> All right, so. Something was in those bath salts we smoked, and now we're in the middle of a fucking purple forest. Love the purple. Oh, something is in the bath salts there this guy is smoking. Someone out here is not a peddler himself. What brings you into the wilds this time of night? Dude, you're level 4 in a level 70 area. What are you doing? I don't know, man. Fucking high. <laughs> well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. My granddad, God's rest his soul, used to tell that one to the barman a kicking out time. And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? You rotten old drunk yet, he'd reply. Uh, Say again? Yeah. What are you talking about? Ah, um, they're called like the MQ or some shit, I don't know. I know that in Final Fantasy XI they were called Mithra, so I just call them Mithra. It's so much easier. It's like M-I-Q-T-U-E or some shit. Yeah, I, I just call them cat people or Mithra. Got to you, did they? Poor beggar. That explains it then. Well, have you, um, do you have Shadowbringer and all that? Shadowbringer, the newest expansion for the game? I was gonna say, because if you have Shadowbringer, you can make, um, the Viera, the bunny people. But you, you best hurry along to the town nearby. Yup. You actually can meet Fran from 12 in-game. But it is a side quest at level 70. Oh, yeah. Got a long ways to go. That's the thing, is that it's a... One thing I really like is the fact that... It, you know, like... Because I've played World of Warcraft for years... And there were times where it's like, I'm going to play, you know, if you want to play a hunter, play a hunter, make this character, they're a hunter, do whatever. But then it's like, all right, now I want to play priest. You have to make a whole new character 
and level up from one plus and then to change out gear is always annoying in this game one character can play every class and so like my character here is yeah my character here is a uh, 70 red mage astrologer warrior ninja and dark knight Oh, you think that's bad? Uh, buddy of mine, Cold, he's losing his mind right now. He is level 70 in every combat, every crafter, every gatherer. And now the max level is 80, so he's going to go, be going ballistic. So I think we're in the realm of... Ah, Thaumaturge. You don't technically unlock Black Mage until level 30. I cannot summon a mount. All right, I guess we fucking huff it. Teleport? No, you just need to have two places to teleport between, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it makes sense. You'd have to, you have to have a place to teleport to. Oh, teleport should uh, if you press start and go up, Hold. you should be able to select an option in that list for uh, if you go to general, teleport should be under that one. And are you looking to teleport or return home? I do not. This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. From where do you hail? You're not gonna know what that is. Do you take me for a fool? Thought so. Ah, it's uh, having a conversation with someone in game. I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin, but instead, you chose. Again, are you using return or teleport? That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Oh, shit. Everything all right, Captain? Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater, and a weak one at that. Uh, normally, normally I stream 7 p.m. to 11, but uh, I work 6 to 9 tonight, so I figured I would stream early. But I see you've met my guest. I will escort her to the Crystarium myself, if you've no objection. Another of your mysterious friends, is it? Very well. I'll inform the others your guest. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us. Come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Understandable. I will have different schedules. Right then. Before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. Sorry to hear that. I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. 
that you are still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. Wow, how sexist. And so, we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise. Well, I mean, how old are you? Its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. As to wherefore, having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and... Oh, well, you're an adult, Nick. Fuck off, then I want you. Okay. So. An inkling, yes. I can only beg your forgiveness. Matters here forced my hand. But all... Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. Yeah, a lot of fun there. Can't wait for Iceborne in September. Um, also, don't know if you have, don't know if you have the Iceborne beta. From what a buddy of mine told me, if you do the Great Jagras hunt, you can actually find Narga Kuga in the woods. And I plan on killing him later. By this realm's reckoning, a luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine tenths of this star was lost. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations. Yeah, I found that uh, it, it comes to there. certain monsters, it's a good idea to have different strats. And T-Rex is heavily offensive, so I tend to bring Sin a weapon that can mutants, block. We call them the... Alright folks, so this is the guy who's been stealing our souls. It was to save the um, first from this menace. And if we're here, that means that our body back in Eorzea is just collapsed. Though it meant depriving a world of its champion, I had to try for Well no, the the story characters care about you, so it's a case of this has happened to multiple people and they're like, no, nah, they're just they're asleep. We don't know what's going on with them. And then well now we're here talking to the guy, so it's like, well, I mean it stands to reason that if we're here, then our body back in Eorzea is just fucking collapsed. And they're like, alright, well, get them to the medical ward with everyone else. Because no one knows how to wake us. So I'm assuming this fuckhead has to return us to our bodies. Um, why he has stolen our souls, I don't know. But it also stands to reason that if he has stolen our soul... That uh, we can find the rest of our uh, friends here somewhere. And also, from the trailer that I saw for this game, uh, Thoncred, instead of a rogue, is now a gunbreaker. I don't know if they have a dancer in the story. Jesus Christ. Is this guy no clipping? Oh, yeah. What is he doing? Oh, he's not no clipping. He is just fucking bunny hopping like an expert. The mad lad. I'm watching uh, AGDQ on one of my monitors. I've got uh, that going. The guy's apparently just... Staring through Half-Life 2. Where the fuck are we? Okay, well, you know, graphically speaking, this place is cool. Now, doesn't this by extension mean that we can teleport, though? If I can, if I can interact with that... If I can interact with that crystal, I should, by extension, be able to teleport back to Limsa. The town itself a symbol. Monument to defiance in the face of death. Alright, so instead of having to deal with the Empire and a great war, now we get to deal with uh, a new world with uh, fucking apparently 
angels trying to kill us. Are we going to meet Bayonetta? Northern. Yeah, it was a fun game. Alright, well, here the fuck we are. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Alright, uh, a couple things. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the white oak coffer to give myself a weapon, because I don't have a good weapon for this class. So, bam. I now have the deep gold claymore. I don't know what that's going to look like. Let me just... Okay, it, it's, it's, it's gold. It's got a bit of gold on there. I do like it. I'm going to go poke the crystal before I talk to that guy. Because I do want to test... I should... Yeah, I could... I could teleport back to Limbs at any time. So I could just teleport the fuck out of here whenever I like. A little interesting. That dude, the etherite... Oh, the etherite is not responding. Well, fuck me. So, wait. If I teleport out, how do I get back in? I, I have to test this. Right, you know what? No. Let's, let's be about this because I'm afraid of what will happen if I teleport out because I can't I can't teleport in here so if I teleport out I'm afraid I won't be able to get back in uh oh so that's how they're doing this now interesting they're probably gonna have me do a lot of talking and in doing so they're gonna give me these white coffers for gear for this character as a result of that, the assumption is that you're going to fully gear one class, so they have a base minimum of knowing that you are going to be well enough geared for this DLC. And that's why I chose to do this as a Dark Knight, because I knew that they would give me gear for Dark Knight that would be near the maximum that we could be, because before Shadowbringers, the max eye level you can get is like 405, and now they're giving me 385 gear for just free. Path will take you directly to the Aetherite Convenience, which I'm sure you are all too familiar. Being. Yep, that always happens in the story quest. Okay. So I believe this will count as a major town, so I can uh, fly climbers. I have a map, so directions are unimportant. I'm gonna play Glamour, please. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Uh, if you go to... Yeah, I was gonna say, if you go into general... Teleport's like the second skill you have. The only other reason I could think you not being able to teleport would be if you don't have the guild to teleport. The guild. Your gold. Who doesn't like a great PS? That's the other thing, is that in order to teleport, you have to attune to the etherite crystal. The, the big blue crystal. Well, you're talking to the biggest crystal. Is it Gelgent? We call them Rogaron. On the horns is a Drawn. We call them Ara. I don't remember the name of your species. Zune. I think that's actually the name of your species. Okay, so he actually calls me by race. Ooh, there's an idea. There's an idea we can do. Uh, I mean, I kind of like this. Plunge, unleash, help the earth, and use all these. I think what we need to do is we need to do this, there, this, there, and then we're going to transfer. Oh, delirium can now just be used whenever? Oh, that used to require a blood point. Oh shit, that's the wrong ability. Fuck. Oh yeah, that's right. It's that probe thing. Probe is there. Remember tanking. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, second bar. Second bar, second bar, second bar. Second bar. So, we're gonna quickly jack that right over there, but that, now that can that there, that there, that there, and this has been added twice, so gone. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. 
Oh, wait, yeah, delirium. That's execution of Friday some blood spiller without cost. And restores MP when landing either. That's very good. Deliver an attack with a punch if 600 or. But, oh, wow. Okay. Very good. Didn't they say I had to. Oh, wait, that's right. Okay, so that's why he was teaching me about the layout of the map. Floors. This leads into here, so I have to go over there. If I want to talk to that guy, I have to go through the middle up the stairs here into this one. Fair enough. Palico friends, we are going on an adventure. Wait, what does Blood Weapon do now? Increases Blood Gauge by 10, restores MP upon landing weapon skills. Like that's not stack when hitting multiple targets with a single attack. Fair enough. I imagine we're going to have somebody at the top of this. Near the top of this. Oh, that's the top. Hello, Morin. Is it Morin or Morin? We shall find out. I'm going to cut his head off. I'm going to sever his arm and feed it to him. Oof. Villains known as the Warriors of Light. So, folks, this goes a... Yup, I'm in another world where light is too powerful and darkness needs our help. So, the point is, is that we are to maintain the balance in all things. So, while there were forces of darkness in Eorzea rising up, we as the Warriors of Light rose against them. But, as we are in a new world, or at least I am, because I'm level 70, um... I am in a world of darkness, and as such, light is more powerful. So, I mean, I can choose to continue to blindly follow the light, or preserve the balance, and in this circumstance, aid the dark. So. Light began to pour into the world. Golden swelled. Blinding. Wave boost. Calamity, the flood of light. Everything it touched. Leached of life and vigor. Not behind, but a luminous wasteland. No shit. So yeah, we actually get to go fight the light as a warrior of darkness. And I thought, what better to be a warrior of darkness than a Shadow Knight? Sacred Period, Oracle of Light. These honestly look like angels out of fucking Bayonetta.
So we just got the backstory to the entirety of the fucking world. Their history. Cool. What did I just see? Camera. Cooperate. Thank you. Alright, well. Express elevator. I don't mind that fall, just did 19,000 damage. What does this 3,000 ability do? Oh, yeah, Blackest Knight. Not a barrier effect. Ooh, wait, what does uh, Living Dead do now? Same? Each piece reduced to zero while under the effect of Living Dead instead of becoming KO. Your set will change to Walking Dead. Under the effect of Walking Dead, most attacks will not lower your HP below one. If before the Walking Dead timer runs out, HP is 100% restored, the effect will fade. If 100% is not restored, you will be KO'd. Nope. It is the exact same as it's always been. Alright, let's head on upstairs. Ow. Again, you need to make sure you return with the etherite in various locations. Yeah, it's not just a case of you have to walk there. You have to walk up to the giant crystal and hit X on it to a tomb. Mm-hmm. And then when you're in any of the major cities, there are smaller etherite crystals. And if you attune with every single one of those, you can then go up to any of them and teleport between them at will for free. So you can teleport around the town. Alright, let's talk to Catless and learn something. Is her last name Everdeen? Just reminds me of the fucking, um... What was it? It wasn't the Hunger Games. It was like the Starving Games or some shit. They had cat piss. <laughs> well, I mean, because the Hunger... Well, the Hunger Games has Katniss Everdeen. And then the Starving Games had cat piss. And I forget what her last name was. It, it was a clear parody. I just love the one how it's like... The fucking... Like, the dude is apparently a baker... In Hunger Games, yet he can also, for some reason, hunt and camouflage himself in the woods. And you're like, what the fuck is happening right now? Yeah, no, he's just like, oh yeah, no, by the way, I know how to do camouflage. And you're like, that's fucking weird. And then, in the Starving Games, too, <laughs> that ended up happening, where he's like, where are you? Where are you? He's like, using my skills as a baker, I've camouflaged myself into the environment. And then the camera pans, <laughs> the camera pans over, he's just in a huge fucking cake. Just forest and woods and then cake. And using my skills as a baker, I've blended seamlessly into the environment. You're like, uh, no. Mm -hmm. Bottom right corner of your screen. Yeah, depending on where you're teleporting to, that'll also cost cost you money. But then again, you're level eight, so it's hard. What level are you? Or uh, what server are you on? Ah, uh, damn it! I take it you have friends on Goblin. Damn it! Alright, so now we get to see the after effects of the white blood. Oh man, you want to see that crafting talent? I got a level one blacksmith, because fuck crafting. Uh, 
There we go. So is this going to give me a full set of gear, or just a chest piece? Just a chest piece. Do I want to be a proper bunny girl? Well, I mean, I... I, I actually have a bunny girl outfit from the casino. So I can be a proper bunny girl if I choose. Okay, there, fucking Chancellor Palpatine, you need to calm down. Well, I mean, you, you, you gave the right, um, what's the word? Definitely gave it the right inflection, because it wasn't just do it, it was do it. So I can just go to the big fucking couple? Yes, I can. Oh, that's one okay. Never mind. Alright, moving on. Oh, that's fucked up. That is so fucked up. <laughs> the dude's character name is Tom Holland and he's in the DLC. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> that's fucked up. Well, the other thing too is I don't know if you saw, but they apparently actually got Tom Holland to do the uh, to do the some advertisements for this DLC. Welcome to the Ocula, my private study. We can speak here without. F I have much to explain, but the truths which I must touch upon in doing so would cause only distress and confusion to the people. Now, I am sure you. I how you do it. To put it simply, they are here in the first. Their arrival, however, was not as recent as you may imagine. And thus, for the moment, you need not overly concern yourself. As for your companions, however, Eustola and Orianger have dwelt here for three winters, all told. While well, thank even our more recent arrivals, Alphino and Alize. My intention had been to summon only you, but the art of reaching across worlds has proven exceedingly difficult to master. Thus it was that my fumbling hand closed upon those to whom your fate is most cruel. As they were not the object of my summons, their transference was incomplete. Though they may appear to possess consequently, while you yourself will be able to pass between worlds We spent every waking hour searching for a way to reverse the summons. 
As you may have surmised, however, our efforts met with little success. The endeavor once Uriange shared with us the vision he had witnessed during his... In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space warp and blend in unexpected ways. What a... In his vision of tomorrow, the first was rejoined. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth mm -hmm. calamity and the deaths of countless mo amongst those who perished. Uriange clearly saw the fall of the science My order? Champion. He watched you die. I'd want a better. And thus did the Scions embrace their exile and began searching this world for a means to forestall their souls are stranded in the first, yes. But they have fought on, desperate to save their home and you. Nor have their efforts been in vain. For it was they who finally established that the elimination of the Sin Eaters will indeed serve to prevent the calamity. Considering these circumstances of our meeting, you would be forgiven for doubting my version of events. Again, you can only teleport between etherites. I believe in order to teleport, you need to at least unlock one. And so, before all else, I would suggest you track down your comrades and hear that I shall of course be happy to assist in these reunions, and you need not make any decisions regarding your involvement until you are certain oh. of where you stand. Sorry, need to mute my computer again. Meanwhile, I promise I will not rest until I have found... What say you? Have I a... Excellent. You will not with that settled. We shall have to see about getting you ready for the road. Traveling across the rift has no doubt left you weary. I will arrange for a room where you might rest in comfort. Probably will. Can't help it. It's Final Fantasy. That happens. I'm glad that Final Fantasy XIV had the collaboration event with Monster Hunter. You can actually fight uh, Rathalos and shit. And you can actually get a Palico companion. You can get a Poogie. Vegan? Yeah, but unfortunately you have to uh, do Rathalos Extreme, and he is not easy. Finding groups for him is hard, let alone fighting him. The expectation now, though, is that I want to hit level 80 and then go back into level 70 and just kick the shit out of him myself. Yep, and then I'll get all of the Rathalos gear. But that, that is a plan for another day, so I have to be level 80 this for that. This is the Musica Universalis, the commercial heart of the Crystarium. Or you might need to prepare for your... Ah, yes. You must be curious about the currency. Fear not. The gill you carry will serve you well enough. Each nation once minted its own coins, but was all a jumbled mess. After much debate, the local merchants eventually elected to revert to the old ways, wherein a coin's value was decided by the... As for a unit of measurement, we agreed upon the term gill. A word borrowed from coins, and, and as our traders peddled their wares across the land, so too... From what your stola tells me, a standard coin from the source equates to exactly one gill here. Our way of life has benefited greatly from the artifact, some of which may be... The fuck are those? Is 
that a phone? But I fear it would not be practical for us to provide everything to which you are accustomed. You shall need a means to access the commodities of your... Avan Kerm Sin? Yes, I'm here! Of course I'm here! What amusements do you have for me today? Okay, we have a Scottish My pixie. My dear Feo Ool, paragon of pixie kind. For you, this fine lady is a friend from a... And we have need of a means to ferry things back and forth from her home. You came from beyond, didn't you? From beyond the rift? How wonderfully exciting! What a brave and reckless and marvellous thing you did! After careful consideration, I have decided to grant you my assistance. But answer me this, traveler. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your... <laughs> Did your teeth and nails? Oh, God. Just as I thought. Then you've a good stout connection with your home through which all your belongings great. And from this moment forth, I will be your Isne Fis and you my Snay Yak. Like the branch which sprouts from the sapling, our bond will flow on. Sure. We're gonna pretend we understand those words. So what's what what's about that? Tis done. We are bound now, dear. Come, come then. Make your request. Tell me your desire. May have her message to your friends in the source to inform them of your. I'll go with Crow. Crow will be more understanding of what's happening. Consider it done. Tatterer will lose her shit. As you heard. That was Feo Ool of the Pixies. Their kind possess an affinity for magic akin. They rarely show themselves in populated areas, but Feo is insatiably curious, even by Pixie standards. And. Right, we were going to organize a room for you, well. Uh, who doesn't love the old gravity cannon? Half-Life 2. Oh! <laughs> I, I thought I was in a loading screen. I was like, oh, alright, we can wait. No, apparently I have a pop-up. Uh, you now have access to delivery moogles, market boards, and summoning bills. Uh, you know, just summon my fucking uh, retainer to another goddamn dimension. I'm sure they're gonna be fucking delightful for that. Like, oh yeah, by the way, go go do some exploration. Also, a capybara pup. So cute. Oh wait, there's there's Ethernet shards here. I should really poke those. I did a dumb. Yeah, this is definitely the major city. Okay, we have multiple Ethernet shards. Um, I'll explore those when I finally run out of quest objectives. For now, we're going to talk to people and do quest objectives. And then when it tells me to actually leave the city, we will grab all the Ethernet and then leave the city. Oh, hey, fuck. Literally, Ethernet shard over there and Ethernet shard right here. I mean, since we're here, well, why the fuck?
it's weird too, because in the Dark Knight quest line, you actually fight him. I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. You just... You can hear me? Oh, God. I... I... That was what I called myself in your world. The Warrior of Darkness. My real name is Ardbert. I used an alias in the source. The Dark Swan. If you recall my tale... Yep, they just added It was my comrades and I who caused the flood. We thought our home doomed. And so we listened to the Ascians. Let them guide us to the source and try to hasten their God's damned ardor. I remember when we fell, defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia, how she listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrant, Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Just faded away. Tell me, do you know the year? How much time has passed since we caused the flood? A hundred years. Oi, Rich. What's up, Johnny? Hello. Hello. Uh, hands find no purchase. My gestures fuck. catch no eye. I don't know what I'm playing as. I'm about to go unlock uh fucking sword breaker and gun or sword whatever, fucking gun breaker and dancer. Shade. Cursed. But yeah, I don't know what I'm playing as. I feel as anyway, I'm in Discord forever. Yep, you're Later. With that. I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges. Bang. My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being re- Why is it that you can see me? You were summoned to save the first. A waste of time. This world is beyond saving. Muddled as my mind may be, I've not forgotten that. But if fate has brought me to you, the one person in this God's forsaken world who can see and hear me, then perhaps there is a reason I endured. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe, maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. Well, I'll be watching, Warrior of Light. But do me a favor, be careful out there. This world has had its fill of heroes. All right, folks, so. I am not going to be streaming much longer, just FYI.
So here's my experience. Here's what I'm gonna do, folks. Um, I'm gonna end it here. I know it's only 11, but my sleep schedule is all sorts of fucky. So I'm a, a bit tired, and I have to work later. So I'm gonna make sure that I am rested for work later. Um. So we're going to end it here, and then when we come back, we're going to just push right onward into the story. Hopefully by then, Johnny will figure out what the fuck he's doing so we can push forward with a class that is a, will complement his for dungeons. Um, but he has said before that he apparently pushes he plays healer. So I was like, alright, fine, I'll play a tank. Or he'll play tank and I'll play healer. I don't know, we'll figure it the fuck out. But I'm going to let him catch up. I'm going to catch some Z's. Like I said, I'm going to be nice and well rested for work later because i do have to go to work but uh yeah i'm gonna head out in the next episode i should stream again after i get out of work so i will be starting the stream probably around 10 10 30 and then going until probably one to two and then going to bed so it's case if it's a weird sleep schedule uh but i do plan on streaming more in the future and internet connection broadcast let's think i'm already ending it see you later folks